Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name's Simon, down here at Burford Golf Club as one of the PGA professionals. And today we're going to be talking about the best three putting drills to not only improve your technique, but also the mental side of the game, including pressure and when you're out on the golf course as well. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're growing incredibly quickly. And leave this video a like if you liked it. I'm more than happy to do more of these kind of videos where they're more coaching based, tutorial based. So guys, leave me a comment below if you think this is a good idea or a bad idea. All criticism is welcome. So let's talking, let's get into the video. So guys, how did I get down to my top three? And it was very simple. I thought of the three top pros that I think putt the best under pressure. And pressure is the key word there. Not just technique wise, but putting when it matters most. How do they hold those putts when they need to win the match or win the title? Those three players are Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson and Jordan Spieth. Arguably, there's a lot of other great putters out there. However, out, those three stand out to me most when it comes to holding that all important putt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through their three top drills, set it up, show you how they set it up, and then importantly, how they execute the drill, but how they score themselves, and this is really important. There's no point going to a green, throwing five balls down, and then just whacking them at a hole, because that's not what you do out there. You need to recreate the environment just the amount of pressure that you would have out on the golf course it, whether it be club champs whether it's your first game with friends whatever the scenario you need to try and recreate that sweat that you get in that environment and how you putt better under that kind of pressure that's what this is all designed for so if that sounds good then keep watching the video if it doesn't then keep watching the video anyway i need the views right Let's get into it. We're going to start with Tigers, then we're going to go into a bit of Jordan Speeth, and then lastly, Phil Mickelson, which I've kind of tweaked a bit. Right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first one, let's get into Tigers putting drill. And this is probably the most simplest out of all of them. However, technically, probably more important than the other two as well. The idea is the whole 50 or 100, you've got to choose the target at the start consecutive putts if you fail you've got to start again and that's where the pressure comes into it especially when you're getting down to the last 40 putts you've got to make sure that they all go in and if they don't you've got to start again and that's why it's such a great drill so you're going to set up the putting drill like this arguably i normally use my putter length so put the putter in the ground or take a step three foot to four foot something like that and make a very tight gateway with your putter head so it basically just gets through and what this does is promotes the club face being very square to the target at impact make sure that the putter face and all your gate is square to the putt um, the hole otherwise this drill will be useless then what you're going to do is alternate so you're going to hit six putts with both hands and then 12 putts just with your right hand and to be perfectly honest i struggled with this to start with because what happens is if you hit off center strike the club's going to twist open or close and it's going to be very difficult for you to hold the putt so the more you practice the more confident you go get at holding putts from this distance because of the technique and the difficulty you're giving yourself as well as upping the pressure and it's going to give you that confidence that you need when you're out on the golf course and you've got that all important three or four foot putt okay so number two is jordan spieths now this is quite similar to tigers however now we're doing a ball gate so you're going to find a 10 foot putt you're gonna roll three balls down to get the idea of how straight this putt actually is. So you gotta make sure that you're hitting uphill putt, nice and straight, as close to it as you can. Make sure that you can actually hold the putt from where you are. There's no point making an impossible situation. Now the reason I like this drill is because actually you end up focusing more on the gate than you do on the hole. And that's sometimes a good thing, especially if you've made a good read on the green and you need to hit a solid putt. Doesn't matter if it's straight, left to right, right to left, as long as you've checked picked your target and your target line then the two should add up and the ball go in the hole so the reason i like this drill is because you're allowing that kind of inevitability and taking the emotion out of it now the reason and way you can mark this one is you get half a point so name yourself or number yourself how many putts you're going to do so whether it be 10 20 30 40 100 and then you get half a point if it goes through the gate you get a one point if it goes in the hole each time you come back to this week on week mark yourself score yourself give yourself a forfeit and again that can add to the pressure of your putting and your putting routine lastly big feel now i slightly adapted this this is something that i got taught by my coach but it's great under pressure 
and it's a great drill to do at the end of the day especially if you've got to be somewhere quite soon or leaving the golf club the idea is you have three foot six foot and nine foot putts you obviously don't have a gateway this time so it's obviously just down to your green reading skills and feel and technique you start from the nine foot putts so you, what you're going to do is you're going to hold two consecutive putts from the nine footers so you keep going around till you've hold two once you've done that you go to the six footers you've got to hold three out of four so you're allowed one miss but obviously if you miss the first one on the six footers then you've got to hold three out of three so again you start to feel this kind of pressure and it sounds easy but it's not if at any time that you do miss one of these putts you have to then go and start all over again so that's why when it gets to the last one and we're on the three foot putts you've got to hold four out of four of them you start to feel the pressure when i hop when i finish this game in under 20 minutes or less i know my putting is solid it sounds easy it's not i highly recommend you guys go and try this one especially if you struggle when you've got a card in your hand or you're playing an all important match so guys there you have it there's the top three putting drills that's arguably the best putters in the world have used and something that you could use to improve your game i highly recommend people practice their putting rather than hitting balls before they go out on the golf course and this is something very quick very easy that you could do just to give you that bit more confidence and confidence is very key in this game guys thank you ever so much for watching as always please subscribe hit that like button and i'll catch you guys later